Hello. Hi, this is Arzy Wisdom. Thank you for coming by. I am traveling. We took our little buttons in for surgery, little three and a half pound buttons, and she had uh, 16 teeth removed, little dogs, and she's got all these other health things, so we had to take her to a specialty place, but she's doing fantastic and just a little feisty girl, and so yay. So we're going to take her back to the cabin now, but we're going to go back later. But I wanted to hurry up and get on here and chat with you guys about current events. And we also had a family in the cabin for a couple of weeks. So that's why I've been sort of scarce. But so much excitement to ha going on between Harris and Tim Walls um, being her VP pick, which I'm proud to say I saw that uh, a couple videos ago when I went through all of her choices. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is the downturn on the Dow Jones industrial, the indexes and the financial markets. I wanted to pull some cards on that. It's a little bit scary. I don't think it's anything massive. I, my just initial gut reaction is it's just a correction. It's been necessary. Um, I actually have a financial guy I met, I talked to, and he says it was going to happen because it was, it was too much of a bubble. So that's good news, but I'm going to, look into it again. Of course, don't take anything I say as using in your decisions because it's just, you know, what I see in my, my musings. Uh, I also wanted to look into Supreme Court Justice um, Thomas because he seems to have nine lives. Every time somebody calls him on his uh, non-disclosure of very expensive flights, gifts, yacht rides, uh, vacations from Harlan Crow. Oh yeah, I didn't put that in. Or that's not important. That is just a private friend or something. I'm going to pull some cards on him because it's getting a little aggravated. I feel like there is zero accountability with him. Clarence Thomas and Jenny Thomas seem to like feel like their, their S doesn't stink as you know what I'm saying. I also wanted to, <clears throat> some uh, commenter had a uh, viewer had asked about Harris. Will she beat Trump? Uh, spoiler alert, most likely, but I'm going to pull some cards and I'll tell you what I see. Uh, I also, her food changed her, how she, I see her as the food has shifted a little bit. So I find that very interesting. And Tim Walls, I got a dessert for you guys. Very, very interesting for him too. And, uh, yeah, so next time I'll talk about Trump's court dates and his new, Chutkin has called for a hearing on August 16th for, um, to hear both sides and their arguments to, you know, to see if he has immunity and that, that kind of thing. So I'm going to do a video, a whole video on that in J.D. Vance and that lovely partnership. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get started. All right, <clears throat> here we go. So. I had mentioned this in my last video. Tim Walls is an Aries. He has, I looked at his chart. He's got his sun, his Mars, his ascendant, and Jupiter, all in Aries. That means he's like triple Aries. His moon is in Aquarius, I think, which gives him more of a common sense, humanity, all for one, one for all. But that Aries is right in front. He's got that leadership energy. Uh, Aries are the firefighters, the police officers, the generals, the uh, soldiers, um, all the leaders that are very comfortable in the front telling people what to do. They don't need, they focus on themselves in a way, but for the greater good. So he's got that and her moon is in Aries. So that alignment is wonderful because her moon is her emotions and that's how she feels uh, emotionally heard. You get that through your moon and his, uh, all his airy stuff uh, uh, matches up with that. So they have a really lovely common denominator of the Aries. Now Aries people can get feisty and they get angry and they blow up. And as a, you know, as you can imagine, police, fire, soldiers, all those people do, but that's giving them that energy, this really fiery, um, taking on the world energy. The other thing too, remember they're calling themselves the joyful warriors. 
that's what the warrior is about. And that excitement and that joy is related to the feeling of uh, her Gemini ascendant, which is about communicating and excitement and social um, one-on-one group activities. Geminis are about um, teaching as well. So they're both teachers. So in a different kind of way. I just, I'm saying it's all, it works out perfectly, the joyful warrior label. And so it really fits them. And that energy, for those of you who are wondering, is going to continue. I did see uh, August as being a lovely white bubble of light, and it's going to keep going. And all these people that are coming from all over to go to these rallies, it's just like all this pent up energy and concern and fear is now being able to be released and they want somewhere to focus. You know, even those Republicans that are scared about Trump, people just want to feel happy again. And in my last video, I told you, I promise things are going to get better and they are, they will. It's, it's going to be like this. It's not going to be a straight line. It might even be a spiral, but we are going to get there. We will unite as Americans. I promise it is going to happen. Um, there's going to be a lot of pushback from people who are um, don't want things to change. They love the grievances. They love the fear. They love the drama. And those people um, are going to fade into the background. Uh, I do see them having a little bit of a dip after August. And I don't know exactly why, um, but there is going to be a little bit of a I don't want to say sluggish period or a little bit of a slowdown. And it just could be because you can't maintain that sugar high that I heard on MSNBC this morning, which is a perfect analogy, that sugar high for so long. It does, it'll just, it will settle down. You know, the pendulum has swung so far over this way. Now it's, it's going to settle down, which is fine. And then they're really smart about saying, we've got to keep up the hard work. You cannot, um, get complacent. Everybody has to vote. They know they are the underdogs and there's a lot of work to be done still. So I love that messaging as well. So the leadership, the warrior idea, the joyfulness, the positive um, all for one attitude is something I think Americans have been craving for many years because it's just been so chaotic and difficult. And that even in the middle there, the pandemic, all of that, we've been separated. Now we're going to be more unified. Um, it's, and I think people are just really excited about that. All right. I have my notes because I have to, when I meditated, I looked at all my notes. So in the past, oh, let me switch real fast. They will win the election. I know. I should have led with that. Buried the lead, as they say. They will win the election. Harris and Walls will win the election and we will win the House and the Senate. And that's of, as of today. There's always free will. There's always shifts. I am concerned a little bit about his health because he is so dynamic and his energy is just fierce. Um, and as an Aries, maybe he might tend to have... Um, some heart issues down the road anyway but i don't feel like it's bad anytime soon but i am concerned down the road yeah so they will win and the democrat will take over the house and the senate and the white house and it's going to be a major shift it aligns perfectly with pluto moving into aquarius and we're going to see a big shift the other thing is too harris's moon is in leo which also trines his aries stuff and her aries thing so it's a really good, um, that's the other part of the joyfulness is that Leo moon, which, you know, is a joyful moon. It's very, you know, playful on its highest um, manifestation or highest um, use in life is, is joy and fun and creativity and play. And they just align really well with that. I know people were saying Josh Shapiro, a lot of the people on TV saying, oh, they're disappointed. Josh Shapiro would have been a great choice. I don't know what was going on with him and I guess he didn't mesh very well with her and he didn't, he was a little too ambitious is what I heard the terminology, but Walls was more deferential and cooperative and they just, it was easy. Uh, Josh Shapiro has got a future ahead of him. He'll be fine. 
I'm not sure if I, I, if people love him and I guess he's doing well. So I have, you know, I changed my mind about Harris. She's changed my mind. So maybe I'll change my mind about Josh Shapiro down the road. Neither here nor there. Okay. After the election, Trump will have to deal with all of his court cases. I'm going to talk about it like that in the next video, but just talking about him personally after the election, his mind, dementia, uh, brain health is going to go down. And I've seen this for months where it's going to hit him hard. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the depression, which is hard for me to believe he'll be depressed because he has to be have an awareness, which he doesn't. And, but he's the, the post-election fear of being in prison because he will get sentenced in September with um, Judge Marchand is going to sentence him in September. That's going to happen. And so he's in a, he'll appeal it and it'll extend it. But after the election, the depression, the fear, and the brain health is going to go down. And I think he might do more medications or something to mitigate that. And it's going to make it worse. And he's, it's going to be a lot. And he may leave the country, although he'll be sentenced and he's a felon. So I don't know if they'll let him be a lot of different things going on with that. I feel like it's going to be a mishmash and that's going to be related to some of the protests post-election before the in, uh, inauguration. There's going to be less than I thought in the past. I saw very dark times between the election and January or, the, you know, the inauguration in January, but now I see it. There will be protests. There will be some violent pockets. There may be a bomber too somewhere, but, uh, not like it was because the difference between the election, the voting, the numbers, it's not even going to be close. It's going to be a huge defeat for the GOP at the election. So it would really be hard to argue with that. So people won't be protesting as much because you can't argue with fact, right? Or people try, but I also wanted to share with you. So in the past, I've seen Kamala Harris as uh, roasted vegetables, a tray of roasted vegetables, mostly orangey ones, sweet potatoes, carrots, squash, and caramelized and delicious. Yeah, but now she has converted, I've taken those vegetables or in my mind's eye, they've been blended to like a big bowl of, if you can imagine, <clears throat> imagine mashed sweet potatoes, orange. It's an orange mashed bowl. And I'm imagining it's all those roasted vegetables, but I knew they were already oranges, orange. And then there's a big pat of butter on top, very fluffy, very delicious looking. And I want to dig into it. So they're sweet, but still, but it's all mashed together now, which I find very interesting since she's chose him. I think it, and it feels expansive. It feels like how I'm interpreting that was she's encompassing like the old um, phrase or the, you know, bring, you make a big tent. So everybody's invited to your party, the democratic party or the Republican. I think the Republicans used to use that, make a big tent so we can gather everybody under it. And I think that's the feeling I get is this bowl of mashed vegetables, but most of the sweet potatoes is, Gap, it's getting bigger and bigger, accumulating more and more people, more and more energy around it. Um, and it feels really good. Now, uh, I, <laughs> so Tim Walls, he's uh, from the heartland, <clears throat> Nebraska, and grew up on a farm. <clears throat> I saw him as, it's not quite a dessert. It is a dessert. It just depends on how you do it. So if you come from a large family or you have to feed it, you know, a big group of people, you don't just make a small tray of biscuits. You make a huge tray of biscuits. I saw him as biscuits, but a huge tray of biscuits, some with biscuits and gravy, which who doesn't love sausage gravy and cream gravy on biscuits. But then some of the biscuits have gotten butter that's lathered with butter and honey drizzled on it kind of a southern thing but also country a country way of eating the biscuits jam some have been 
covered with honey and or you know butter jam a variety of delicious biscuits and these aren't little flat pillsbury biscuits these are like thick biscuits that break in half and they're very fluffy and delicious so technically it can be a dessert but i don't see fruit and i don't see any you know fancy anything it's basic but good hearty uh tasty not too sweet but filling and um satisfying so between the two of them i know they don't quite go together biscuits and gravy and sweet potatoes but it feels satisfying and comforting and um, something you can count on, filling and very um, nourishing in a lot of ways and also sweet. Both of them have a sweet aspect, but they're not so sweet that it's sickly. You know, they're just sweet enough. And as I do these different images and my, you know, I, I see things, they do shift uh, as I've seen um, different you know, desserts change over the months that I've been doing this. Trump's cake that has fallen on the floor is still there, but I see it melting. It's in chunks already and it's been melting. And after the convention, it was kind of got propped up a little bit. And J.D. Vance was in his blurry space behind him. But now Trump's cake, you know how the Wicked Witch of the West melts in the Wizard of Oz. I see him melting. No water has to be thrown on him, but he's melting from below. Like there is nothing holding him together. <clears throat> JD Vance has got more form to him. He's got like some like vertical fence post kind of things around Trump, trying to hold him up, I guess. And dark. Still dark lines. Um, but I, I see that as not connected. They're not connected. And J.D. Vance is such a, he is weird. He is strange and very uh, cringy. A lot of things he says are just so cringy. Anyway, I uh, also pulled some cards on Trump and how the GOP was going to react to the Harris campaign. And I've already talked a little bit about that. But I got the devil, which I interpret that and the two of wands and the five of swords is they are trying to do whatever they can to in the most, I don't say evil way, but negative way possible to bring them down, to bring Harris and Waltz down. They are really digging deep. And I also pulled this card and I, I saw, this is the fool card, but in this deck, you can see the alligator is underneath and that the woman just sees a little tip of the tail and she's taking, she doesn't understand all the dangers that are underneath the ground. And I see them, the GOP, kind of having this deep underground system, trying to dig up all the dirt on, on the Democrat Party walls and Harris. And the, the other way I could see this is if they're going underground they're they may go underground temporarily just to hide the fact that they're you know for next time they're losing and so they're going to have to take all this uh, anger negativity fear kind of put it on the down low for a while but it's it's still there so i see them trying to they show this oh everything's bright but really underground it's scary and in treacherous, nefarious, lethal, I don't know, something like that. Those are the other words besides bad. Okay, so I'm going to now pull some cards on our, uh, all right, the Dow Jones Industrial and financial markets. I think I'm just going to look at as financial markets. It's interesting. I see, wait a minute. I see another dip. And a lot of times it and it comes in October, you know, the crash, big crash in 29, I think it was in October. And it seems to be, and I think it has to do with different reports that come out annually. But 
I do see that it's, there's the moon. Things are not as they appear. And there's a lot of behind the scenes choices in regards to financial markets. And I know, I don't know enough about it. I'm just giving you the general gist of what I'm feeling that there's something behind the scenes that people are making choices or companies or stockbrokers are making choices on king of wands. Um, so there is, I'm thinking that there's, or I'm feeling I do feel like it's going to go down farther by the end of the year before the election. After the election, things will perk up again. But before the election, things, everybody's very nervous. And I do feel like it's going to go down more or stay where it is now. Maybe go up a little bit, go down, go up, go down. And ultimately, at the end of the year, we're going to have a big resurgence after the election. It'll be good. But until then, it's going to be very nervous. Okay, what's this? Page of Pentacles. She doesn't look nervous, but this is about money. Page is about information about money and the chariot. Things moving quickly. So, but this is slow. So I think it's going to be a combination. My gut tells me as I'm perceiving the timeline, as I see it, it is very wiggly, but peaks, goes up higher at the end of the year. So that was good. I also had a question months ago from somebody who was concerned about um, the Florida real estate market. Somebody was asking if it was going to, some had heard it was going to drop like 40%. I didn't see it dropping that much. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Um, I didn't see it dropping that much at all and actually going up because people were saying because of insurance and hurricane, uh, hurricanes and climate change and the weather and there was going to be an exodus, you know, and so there was going to be a big surplus of homes that would, people wouldn't be able, the prices are going to drop drastically. And I still don't see that, but I did see an article about some, I did see something about Florida real estate recently and I looked at it and it says it's not going to drop. And that's still the feeling that I have. I do feel like there's pockets where the real estate market will drop a little bit, like 20, I don't know why 25 just got in my head. 20, that seems like a lot though, or is it 2.5? There will be pockets where it will go down a little bit. Less than 5%, maybe 10. <laughs> but I'm going to pull a card here. Florida real estate market in general, because I know northern Florida is different than southern and the Keys. I have family in the Keys in northern Florida. And um, I priestess, so hidden things. Things are not as they seem. I also see water here. See the boat? It's kind of mystery. Things have yet to be decided. That's how I'm going to interpret that. Page of Swords, information, learning. Yeah, things have yet to be decided. I think if there is any changes, it, it's not going to occur. And then the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. So I don't think anything sudden. Maybe next year. Nothing this year. Drastic. So I know some of you want to get into a house and you're hoping the prices go down. Uh, I don't see that. Maybe some pockets, but not anywhere. Any big, anyway, I just wanted to check into that real quick. And Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, Mr. Green Jeans. Why did I, Mr. Green Jeans? Not Mr. Green Jeans, but he is such a, uh, I don't understand how he gets away with stuff. How is he zero shame, zero accountability? Very frustrating. And I know Biden's uh, wanting to do the uh, Supreme Court renovation or, um, you know, some make a, them have a 
where they have uh, term limits and they have ethics, assigned ethics contract. I do feel, you know what? I think that's going to go through. I feel really good about that. That will go through, but it won't be till next year when we have all the houses or all the branches um, as a Democrat, Democratic um, held. Yeah, I think they will for sure. That's going to happen. And then he's going to be out. Then he'll be out by then. I see his, him as dirty, like in the ground. Um, like, like you dropped a, a piece of cake on the ground and it's in the dirt and it's covered with dirt and leaves and grass and stuff. And that's how I feel like he is. It was like maybe once it was a good thing. Now it's covered in dirt and it's in the ground. You pick it up and look at it. You might want to eat it. But it's not anymore because it's filthy and gross. And that's him next year. Or whenever they complete this um, Supreme Court oversight. Will he go next year? More pentacles. Yeah. He doesn't want to. He wants to stay. But it looks like he will be saving his money, Emperor. Hmm. <laughs> he wants to take everything with him. He wants to never leave it behind. Oh, he's got some karma. You know what? I feel his soul. This is some karmic shit that he is having to deal with. Um, and it comes from him repeating a pattern. This is a karmic pattern he's repeating. He feels very comfortable. This life is, this life for him was supposed to be about truth, law, doing the right thing, being um, on a higher moral ground. As his life has progressed, though, he's falling back into some karmic patterns that he was supposed to eliminate. Uh, he and Jenny together. Or maybe he took her with him. Actually, maybe not her. He uh, actually didn't complete what he was supposed to do this time around. That's the feeling I get. I feel like he uh, had some karma that he never was able to... He, he fell back into it instead of releasing it and eliminating that karmic pattern and changing. I think when push came to shove, he took it. He went along with the old pattern. So he's going to have to repeat it next time and it'll be harder for him next time. Uh, that's what happens if you, you repeat patterns in maybe not the same way or in the same life style or person, uh, sex, whatever it is. But in some way, shape, or form, he neglected or turned his back on being the moral, ethical person. Yeah, it was too hard for him. I got ten of wands. It was too hard for him. Too much good stuff to to uh, say no to. Bribery, money. Yeah. Uh, well, that's on him, though. That's his soul contract, right? Yeah, but things are looking up, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited about the future of our United States of America. I will, like I said, I'm going to do another video on Trump and his uh, future with the courts. Get a little bit more detail on that and continue. Now that I have more free time, I'll have more videos I can put out. But thank you for all your comments and likes. I love that you guys are there and uh, and giving me some Atta Girls, which makes me feel really good. And hopefully I can keep growing and doing what I do. All right. Well, you guys take care till next time.